So compared with uh, previous years, the numbers are, are quite a bit lower, and we think that's purely because the river hasn't been flowing long enough for the fish to recolonise. So, which is good in a way, but uh, you know, previous years we caught four, maybe even up to 500 fish. So, um, so I think we've had uh, maybe five today. So, and bigger fish as well, which you know shows that they're the, they're the first ones that recolonise an area. They'll spawn up here and they'll produce the little fish that we we've, we've caught in the past. Because the flow from the, the river brings oxygen with it, and uh, as the flow stops, there are still isolated pools, they become stagnant and the, the weed takes oxygen out at night and uh, the oxygen levels in the water fall and so mm. the fish can die. I'd just like to say thank you to James uh, Potter, the village warden, for keeping us informed as to the, to the river flows. And although we haven't caught the huge numbers of fish that we have in the past, um, you know, we've, we've pretty much caught what's here, um, which are six trout. But if you get your camera in there, they're, they're some pretty good size trout. there's probably one in there that's at least four or five pounds, if not bigger. So all really healthy fish. So and they, they, they would have succumbed to the low flows at some point. So. Um, They'll come back and uh, hopefully up here and, and spawn again and produce lots of uh, lots of juvenile trout. There he is, lovely, lovely brown trout. Yeah, so um, good condition. And held in our in our tanks here, which can be oxygenated if needed. The water's so cold that the fish are fine in there. Yeah. You mentioned earlier on about grayling. Now that's something I haven't seen in the river here, but is that they are quite um, you know they are quite prevalent, are they? Are certain they, conditions in the Lamborn as well. Yeah. So um, in, there's certain pockets of, of good numbers of grayling right. throughout throughout the Lamborn. So um, really good numbers down at the bottom end at shore. Smaller oh, numbers, okay. smaller fish, but but really good good numbers down there. Good. The, the grayling in the Lambourne in particular tend to be really, really big. I mean, we've caught some pretty big trout today, and yeah. normally the grayling are about the size of those trout, so yeah. sort of, you know, up to over three pounds we've had grayling. Yeah. So if any fish are seen, it's quite right just to net them out and move them down as, as you see fit, where there's plenty of flow, and they'll, they'll be fine there. So, uh, But if we have missed any, yeah, have to be netted out and moved down. <laughs> 